What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering a topic that a lot of you have been asking me over the years. So I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the amount of bricks, the number of bricks used inside of a wall in a rabbit. So whether you have a wall that's entirely made out of bricks or blocks or something like that, or maybe it has only one layer of bricks or blocks, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the amount of bricks or blocks used in that wall. Now, it's really simple and it, it includes using schedules in Revit. Now, if you're more interested in schedules and want to learn more, I have a whole entire course just on schedules in Revit, so uh, check it out if you're interested. The first link in the description takes you to my website. I have all of my beginner, intermediate and advanced courses courses over there, so if you're interested, check it out. Also, if you want to get access to all of my Revit project files, check out my Patreon, uh, the second link in the description, you can find both my courses and uh, my project files there. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Revit, and uh, here the first thing that we need to do is to place a wall for which we want to calculate the brick count. Now, uh, as far as walls are concerned, I'm just going to go here to the regular architecture wall, so just go there, and then uh, what you want to do here is just go to properties and then change it for a type where you have some bricks. Now, in this case, I'm going to go with the uh, exterior brick on a metal stud. And now here we have block and brick. In this case, I'm just going to choose the brick on metal stud. And if I just place a small segment, and before we do that, uh, let's just adjust some of the parameters for this wall. So what I'm going to do is here, make sure it says height. And then for the height, we can just attach it to level two. So the height is going to be the height of level two. And in this case, that's 400 centimeters or four meters. Now for the wall segment, we don't have to be crazy about it. Let's just create a three meter or 300 centimeter uh, wall segment and let's just hit the escape key a couple of times. Now, if I uh, go here to the uh, detail level and change it from coarse into fine, you're going to notice that now we can see all of the layers appear. And here you can see that brick layer. Now, as you can see, the brick layer in this case, and uh, for this particular wall, the brick layer is used as sort of a exterior finish material. Now, we can, of course, double check that by selecting the wall and then going here into edit type. And then here for the type properties, we have the structure of the wall. So let's open that up. And as you can see here, we have that brick common material and the function is set to be a finish material. Now I want to make just one small alteration to this wall and that's going to be to the thick for the thickness of this particular uh, brick layer. Now in my country, bricks are usually 12 centimeters uh, wide. So we want to use that for the thickness uh, just because here the thickness is at nine centimeters. Uh, maybe this is uh, for uh, maybe some uh, brick standard or some brick size that's nine centimeters thick. But of course, in this case, we want to make that a bit larger. So I'm just going to change the thickness from nine to 12 centimeters. So just make sure to take a look at the brick dimensions that you want to use and then input the thickness value according to that. Now I'm just going to click OK, hit apply and then OK. And you may have noticed that this, this layer has uh, became a bit thicker. OK, so once we have that adjusted here for the wall, the next thing that we need to do is we need to calculate the dimension of our brick. So we want to calculate the volume of our brick in order to uh, use that for the calculation of the brick count for this wall segment. So let's see how can we do something like that. Now, in order to explain this, I have created uh, a separate brick family. As you can see over here, we have just a simple brick. And here for this uh, extrusion that I have created, so this is just a simple Revit family, I have applied the dimensions of the brick that's most commonly used in my region. Uh, now here, uh, the height is set to seven, uh, but that's just due to units. So if I uh, just go here to the Manage tab and then uh, go to uh, the uh, Project Units, and just go to centimeters here and just make sure to set the rounding to either one or two decimal places to get the most accurate uh, number. So if I just click OK, you will notice that now our brick is 25 centimeters long, uh, 12 centimeters wide and 6.5 centimeters thick. 
Uh, but unfortunately, this isn't the only thing that comes to uh, into calculation when it comes to brick count. Usually, you don't stack bricks next to each other. You have to have some sort of a uh, material in between bricks that's going to be holding them in place, some sort of mortar or something like that. Now, we have to demonstrate the volume of that as well for our one brick volume. So let me explain how, how am I going to be doing that. So what I'm going to do is just go here to the Create tab, and then I'm going to set the work plane, and let's just use Pick a Plane option and click OK. So I'm just going to set the uh, work plane to this face, front face of our brick. So what I'm going to be doing now is just creating an extrusion, and I'm going to be adding that additional material that's holding the bricks uh, in, in place. Now, usually the, the thickness of that is going to vary uh, a, a little bit from uh, brick wall type to brick wall type. In this case, uh, under my country's uh, standards and regulations, it's usually one centimeter. So what I'm going to be doing is just uh, go around two edges because uh, bricks are stacked next to each other and then on top of each other, so we have to cover both edges. And I'm going to add one centimeter here and then go up. And then also I'm going to add one centimeter here. So let's see, one centimeter, there we go. Hit the escape key a couple of times. And now I'm just going to fix this up by going to the trim and extend option to corner. And then here, let's fix it up and hit finish. Okay, of course, it extruded to the wrong side, so let's just adjust this like that, and there we go. So now this uh, simulates that additional material that's holding the bricks in place, the mortar, uh, so to speak. Okay, so now we have to adjust our dimensions to include this, because that's going to give us the accurate calculation of what one brick is uh, or what's the volume of one brick. So you just have to select the uh, dimension here and then move the witness line up to here. So as you can see, this is 7.5. And then for this one, let's just move it up to here. So that's 26. So this is going to be the final dimensions for our one brick volume. Now I'm just going to use the calculator to calculate uh, the volume of one brick. Now keep in mind that here we're using uh, centimeters, but in real life for the final calculation we need to calculate in uh, cubic meters. So what we need to do is we need to convert these units into meters. So for example here for this calculator what I'm going to type in uh, for 26, that's not going to be 20, uh, 26 centimeters, it's going to be 0.26 meters. Now times uh, point 0.12, so let's just type in point 0.12 times point 0.75, so point 0.075. Okay, so once we have all of these uh, numbers uh, typed in, if we just uh, uh, calculate that, that's going to give us uh, 0 0.00234, so that's going to be the volume of one brick in our brick wall. Now this is of course uh, for this specific brick wall where we're using this brick type in this layout. Of course it's going to vary from uh, brick size to brick size and from uh, wall type to wall type. Maybe you're going to be using uh, two rows of bricks or something like that, so just uh, take that into consideration. Okay, so once we have calculated this, we have the volume of one brick, so I'm going to go back here to the project, and now we have to create our schedule. So to create the schedule, I'm going to go here to the project browser, scroll down a little bit, and go to schedule quantities. Now for the schedule, the type of schedule is going to be the material takeoff schedule. So just right click over here on schedule quantities, and then select the, uh, the material takeoff schedule. Now we're going to uh, first choose the category for our schedule and for that just scroll all the way down and find walls and click OK. Now once we're here we have to choose the parameters or fields that we are going to be using for this particular calculation. So what I'm going to do is just scroll down a little bit and then here what we need to do is we need to find our material name of course and then also we need the material volume. Now these are the 
uh, two main uh, parameters that we're going to be using for calculating uh, our uh, vol volume. So th this is going to be pulling information from our Revit model, from our wall, that's going to be used for the calculation. But uh, in addition to these two parameters, we need to create uh, two more additional parameters. So one of the parameters is going to be the brick volume. Uh, that's what we've calculated over here. So what we need to do for that is just create a whole new parameter. So just click on new parameter. Uh, you can keep it as an instance parameter. And as far as uh, the type of parameter is concerned, we can just keep it at a number. Okay, so once we have this parameter, we have to add a name. So for the name, I'm just going to call it a, a brick uh, or maybe one brick volume. Okay, so once we have this parameter, I'm just going to click OK, and there we go, we have that additional parameter. And now we also need to include a formula that's going to be calculating the brick count. So for the formula parameter, we have to go here and add a calculated parameter. And then for the name, let's just call this one brick count. For the discipline, let's keep it at common. And for the type, instead of number, let's use an integer. Now, the reason why we're using an integer instead of number is because this is going to give us a rounded off number. So for example, if you're ordering bricks, you're not going to say I need 4.75 bricks. Uh, you're just going to say I need five bricks. So that's why we're going to go with an integer. Now the formula part, this is the most important part of this tutorial. So what we need to do is first add the fields. So here, uh, by clicking on this button, you can include some of the existing fields. So I'm just going to include the material volume and then click OK. Next, we have to divide that by our one brick volume. Click OK. There we go. And then uh, what we need to do is we need to divide that by one meter to the power of three, just to uh, equalize uh, the, uh, basically to equalize uh, the units because uh, we're going from uh, cubic meters into numbers. So we have to just add this to uh, basically equalize everything. And then finally, uh, just uh, you can add uh, an additional uh, basically uh, waste parameter. So for example, if you're creating a wall, you're never going to buy the ex or use up the exact number of bricks. Usually there's a bit of waste. So in most cases, uh, I found that is just 10%. So what you can do over here is just add times 1.1. So we're going to be using that exact number of bricks plus that 10% just to make sure that we have enough bricks ordered for our brick wall. Okay, so once we have created this uh, formula, I'm just going to click OK, and there we go. Okay, so uh, now if I just click OK again, it's going to open up our material takeoffs uh, schedule. Now, the problem with this schedule, uh, well, we have a couple of problems. First, we don't really have the brick volume, so that's empty. Uh, but more importantly, we have too many fields here. So we have each single material uh, that's used up in this particular uh, in this particular wall. And we don't want that. We're just interested in bricks. So what we need to do is filter out this schedule. So what I'm going to do is go here to properties, scroll down a little bit, and then go into filter. And then here for filter, you can filter by material name. And then we can use maybe uh, contains, and then we can use some of the words in the name. So I'm just going to type in a brick. Because as you can see here, the brick material has brick in the name. So just type in brick and then click OK. And that's going to filter our schedule down to only the material that we're interested in. And in this case, those are the bricks. And then finally, here we have to add the volume of one brick, which if we pull out our calculator again is 0 0.00234. So just type that in. And if I just hit enter, there we go. The brick count is 677. Now, if I maybe undock that and dock it over here on the side, maybe make it a bit smaller, you're going to notice that maybe a bit larger. There we go. That if I decided to make changes to this wall, so maybe make the length a bit longer, it's going to add bricks. Also, if I decide to add a door here, as you can see, that's going to uh, make the number smaller. Maybe add a window next to that. 
the number is even smaller so any change that you decide to make to this wall it's going to change this here schedule so you're going to have the final calculations of how many bricks you need to order for your uh, brick wall okay so that's that's it for this tutorial now if you want to download these exercise files that they have used uh, in this uh, demonstration check out my patreon it's in the description of this video and if you're interested in some advanced Revit courses I have have those both on my patreon and also on my website there are some beginner courses as well as advanced and intermediate courses so check out the uh, links in the description for that thank you for watching and have a nice day